In this lesson, we will study about vectorization, which is a technique of speeding up our computations, especially for deep learning algorithms where we are dealing with huge number of data. So there can be multiple ways of doing the computation. One can be that you uh, use explicit for loops and you calculate one uh, calculation at a time and you accumulate that over the loop and then finally add that. Other way would be that you convert your data into form of matrices and vectors. And instead of using explicit for loop and doing a scalar calculations, you do vector and matrix calculations. So we will see how uh, this vectorization can, can be done in Python. We will also have a look at one demo where we will do the same computation, one using vectorization and one non-vectorized version. And then we can easily compare uh, what is the time difference when the data size is huge? So let's see. Uh, we remember from logistic regression, uh, the value of Z is calculated at W transpose X plus B, where W is n-dimensional vector, which denotes the weights for n features. And this X is also n-dimensional vector, which is also uh, the list of features. So uh, if you want to calculate this, this is element by wise uh, multiplication, W1x1 plus W2x2, all the way up to Wnxn. So this, this is the first quantity, then we add B to it. So uh, if we would have to do this calculation in a non-vectorized version, what we would do, we would take this variable Z, initialize it to zero, and then we will run a for loop for this Nx times, and next denote the number of features and uh, we will multiply wi and xi and keep adding to it and finally after the loop ends this is the w transpose x part we add b to it so this can be done in a vectorized for fashion like this uh, numpy has inbuilt dot which works on two vectors take two vectors as input and calculates the dot product of that, which will be equivalent to this. And you can even add B here itself. So this is the W transpose X part, and this is the B part. Uh, this not only makes the code smaller, but it also helps in performance. So let's have a demo of this in Google Colab notebook. So first we will do the non-vectorized implementation and we will need numpy for this for the vectorized part numpy as np and we will also record the time how much time each method takes and then let's say x equal to np dot random dot rand let's first see what this rand function does let's say if i give it 5 then let's see what is inside x then you will see that it will create a, it will pick uh, random numbers between 0 and 1 and this 5 denotes how many random numbers to generate so it generated 5 random numbers and this is what x is holding now so we will have some big number let's say 1 million and we will also define our w the weights which will be np dot random dot rand and this is exactly the same size as x now we will use the non-vectorized version or let's use the vectorized version first so we will record the start of timing so time dot time now what we will do we will be calculating z let's ignore b for now that will not make any difference just adding one number uh, so it will be np dot dot and we pass the two vectors and then after this the calculation is done so we calculate the duration duration will be time dot time that current time minus t the starting time and let's print the value of z and also duration in milliseconds 
and then we will reset z z equal to 0 and t equal to time dot time and now we will do non vectorized version so for i in range uh, the length is 1 million and we have done our computation so what we will do we will do the same thing we will calculate duration and print the value of z so that we make sure that we are calculating the same thing and here i have reset the time you see i have reinitialized t to time dot time that is the current time before starting this for loop and now let's run it so you see these values are same the value of same so the calculation is same but here you see 7 millisecond and the non vectorized version you see 662 milliseconds so let's run it again it's again a difference of more than 500 roughly 500 times let's do it a few times and the same phenomena keeps on happening so you got an idea of how fast this vectorized version is not by twice not by thrice but approximately 500 times for a data size of 1 million and uh, this I was running on uh, CPU so let's change the runtime type let's make it GPU and it's initializing so let's wait for it and now let's run it so you see even on GPU uh, this is a huge difference close to 500 times you see slight improvement in performance of both of these because we are running on GPU and uh, GPU is better in uh, uh, achieving data level parallelization using SIMD instructions so these instructions are called SIMD which stands for single instruction multiple data and it's different from uh, this data level parallelism is different from concurrency where we are running uh, different or multiple instructions at concurrently with overlapping time but in the case of data level parallelism we are running the same instructions on different data so different compute units are computing it and then finally we combine the result and uh, most of the scalable uh, machine learning algorithms are good in achieving this data level parallelism and these uh, implementations like the np dot dot which we used in our example which work on two vectors are much more efficient in achieving in uh, exploiting those data level parallelisms and this helps us in achieving much better performance in a much faster time so the rule of thumb is that whenever you have an opportunity to uh, remove an explicit for loop and use some vectorized implementation then go for it this will definitely give you some uh, benefit in your computations